It's been a year since net neutrality was repealed. Gigi Sohn, a distinguished fellow at Georgetown Law's Institute for Technology Law and Policy, chats with Verge editor-in-chief Nilay Patel about what's happened since by explaining the ripple effect of harmful policy decisions and more. Below is a lightly edited excerpt of Sohn explaining three things that have happened since repealing net neutrality that clearly demonstrate what the FCC did is terrible for consumers, competition and public safety. You can hear this and more in the latest episode of The Vergecast. Nilay Patel, it's been a year since net neutrality was repealed and I've seen a rash of headlines about it. The National Review says the internet apocalypse didn't happen, which is true. It was not an apocalypse. But I wanted to talk about what has happened with internet service in America over the past year since net neutrality was repealed. In some ways it's been a death by a thousand cuts. There's a lot of little things that did happen that aren't great. Gigi Sohn, I disagree with you to the extent that I don't think these are little things. I actually think they're very big things and I think they're just at the very beginning of worse things to come. So, yes it's death by a thousand cuts but the cuts are deeper than people think. NP, what immediately comes to mind? Data caps are back in vogue, there's this router fee that Frontier is charging people for even if they have one of those routers, there's the entire FCC. The FCC just doesn't enforce anything anymore. It gave away its power and now there's nowhere to go. Geez, when the Trump FCC repealed the 2015 Open Internet Order it didn't just eliminate the prohibitions against blocking and throttling and pay prioritization. So in other words, these were things that Comcast, AT&T, Verizon and Charter were not allowed to do. They were not allowed to control your internet experience, but it also gave away oversight over the broadband industry. The FCC abdicated its responsibility to protect consumers and competition in the broadband market. That is the most important thing that happened on December 14, 2017 when the FCC repealed the open internet order. But let me explain three things that have happened in the last year and a couple of months that clearly demonstrate that what the FCC did is really terrible for consumers, terrible for competition and frankly terrible for public safety. I mean it really goes beyond pure consumer issues. The first thing that happened, and this is not insignificant, is about a year ago during the worst fire in California history, Verizon was throttling the Santa Clara County Fire Department's broadband.